guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today we're going to talk about everything university related. So I live in Canada so this is going to be a Canadian edition and I'm just going to talk to you guys about the application process to the universities that I apply to for science programs and I'm also going to show you some of my college reactions that I did save. I am missing a few so just bear with but I thought I would still share them and then talk about the universities that I applied to and why. So if you guys are interested in the application process or college decisions then just keep on watching. So before we get into anything I just want to say that I am filming on a really really cloudy day so the lighting's going to go in and out and my neighbor is literally cutting wood and trying to make a deck or something so you're gonna hear a lot of buzzing in the back so I'm just sorry for that in advance. University so I had the intention of pursuing um, pharmacy or medicine that is like the career that I had in mind going into university and you guys know that I come from the IB program so it I think that it prepared me well and I have a lot of experience so we're just gonna start from my safety schools first so, so my safety school was Laurier Hellsai I don't really know why I chose this one it's a good program I believe it's rather flexible um, I do regret not applying to McMaster's life Sci as a backup but you know I'm not even going there anyway so it doesn't matter second last choice was U Ottawa for their biomedical science in the French immersion stream because I've been taking French since grade 5 and I also took it in high school so that is something that seems like familiar to me and I wouldn't mind taking um, my courses in university in French and I chose a uh, biopharmaceutical stream I believe. My third choice was um, Western Med Sci, so with medical science it's basically where you do two years of undergrad and then you're in the Bachelor of Medical Science I think. Um, and that's where you major in your third and fourth year and it's a bit of a rigorous program It's like a pyramid you basically go in with like 900 students and you end up with like 500 400 I think at the end uh, similar to the Ivy program if you're familiar with it We're in the first two years you're taking advanced courses, but they're pretty general and then when you get into third and fourth year That's when it gets to like real IB or like real med sci so that's one of the programs I wanted to pursue and because it has the opportunities to do medicine or dentistry or optometry or pharmacy that is one of the options that I really liked. My second choice was biomedical science at U Waterloo and the reason why I chose Waterloo as my top two choices is because they have a school of pharmacy themselves and one thing that I was like really focused on was that I would have a smooth transition from high school to undergrad to undergrad to postgrad because I would be pursuing a postgrad degree in either medicine or pharmacy and one thing that I don't want to have to be worrying about is like getting used to like a new city and like getting familiar with areas so that's the reason why I applied to Waterloo and I've also just loved the environment that they have at Waterloo I know a lot of people are saying like it's dead there's no parties and it's like really rigorous and super academic based and that's definitely me I'm not a party person and I love studying that sounds so weird I love making new notes a lot of people don't like it but I think Waterloo is just Fit my personality the best given that they have a more low-key social life so that is the reason why and so if you look at my OUAC it says that I applied to two programs at Waterloo and that is honor science and biomed in the life science stream and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to decide if I was going to be in a more flexible stream or a more like structured one but the thing is the reason why this doesn't matter is because i applied for another thing which is my top choice which is cap status which is a conditional admit to pharmacy program where it's basically you do two years of undergrad at the university of waterloo and then if you meet a bunch of criteria you pass an interview then you get admitted to the school of pharmacy and now i'm just going to break down all the applications to each program. So for the programs at Waterloo, um, depending on the faculty that you're in, you could have interviews, so like online interviews where it just like records you on your laptop and then like questions pop up and you have like 30 seconds or 60 seconds to answer. So I know that is true for business or AFM at least. Um, and then I also know it's true for engineering and for science, we didn't have any of that. One thing that people didn't like about Western MedSci is that they have a competitive average so you need to have at least a 91 average and they don't take any supplementary application so they don't know anything about you, they don't know anything about your extracurriculars, about who you are as a person. The biopharm at UOD- Well, I didn't even have time to look at the application. I did read a few of the questions, it was a bit like- How much do you help around the house? Like, what do you want to become in the future? Something like that, but I already got accepted so I just- didn't even look at that application. And then for health sci at Laurier, there was also a supplementary application that I didn't fill out, but it was just along the same lines of like, what do you want to become in the future? What are like some extracurriculars that you were in? Um, but those are all like pretty, pretty standard, I would say for science programs. They're all like 
asking you the same questions. So all in all, I would say that I had a pretty easy application process when it came to university. I think the only one that I really stressed about was my conditional admit, so my cap status one, because that one I actually had to fill out three parts to, and I also had to get reference letters. So I just wanna say that I have literally the best people in my life, my Reference letter from Pharmacy Experience was literally the sweetest person ever and then so was my English teacher who ended up being my second reference letter and honestly the letters that they wrote me were amazing. I spent literally months on my AIF which is the... Is it admission information form or is it admin? I don't know, it's information form basically just about you. I don't know how I completely missed mentioning that cap status the pharmacy program that i applied to had an interview so first you had to pass the aif they had to approve of your aif your application like the written one and your reference letters then you would get an interview then you had to pass the interview so that's why in my reaction i talk about the interview and how it was a really stressful process because you didn't only have to pass one thing, you had to pass two, and so that's what made the program even more rigorous and like competitive. The first university to accept me was U Ottawa, and I believe they accepted me three weeks before um, Christmas break. And then Laurier was like two or three days after that. And I also got both my Waterloo acceptances before the end of 2019, so last year. Also for Western Med Sci, since there's no sub app, it really just depends on your average and my average was not cute for semester i believe it was a 90.5 and then midterm second semester which is for my canadian viewers you know like that's basically the time where like you make it or break it because that's the new updated average that universities um really care about so they care about your final grades in january which is your first semester final marks they're set in stone and then you have your midterms which are basically your temporary marks but they don't usually defer from midterm at least not for me. So I didn't have a high enough average to get into Western's like first like three rounds. I didn't get it until really, really late. I didn't get it until after my midterm and it's definitely because my average was lacking way before it was in above a 91, which I would say is definitely the cutoff for Western Med Sci. So just to keep that in mind, that's for my year and I got in with a 93.5 top six. And for Waterloo, because they have different prereqs, I think my average was a 92.5. 92.3 or something like that. That's basically it. I'm just going to jump right into my college reactions. I need to refresh this page. No one emailed me and it's so early in the morning. It's 7.44 a.m. I was literally reading, I'm literally reading 20 strange underwater images of the Titanic in 2018. Cause I'm just like, hmm, what does the Titanic look right now? And then I'm like, let me refresh my quest because it's been 40 minutes since last time I checked because I've been checking every freaking half an hour. And then I got distracted with like Outer Banks and then I was just like, hey, like I'm just gonna check. So. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I'm I've been having day like nightmares and like daydreams throughout the day of reading emails that say unfortunately. Like I've just been seeing that word like flashing in front of my eyes. Literally just just the word unfortunately and it's literally been driving me so so crazy because I think it's because I got a like rejection for like this entrance bursary that i applied for at the university and it's like my first time ever reading like an email it says like unfortunately you don't meet the criteria for the entrance bursary but oh my god i can't believe i got it i did not think that i would because well i thought my interview went pretty well actually to be honest and okay so one i knew my application like just to get the interview was really good i was really confident in that and i really liked my reference letters as well so that was super fun and then when it came to interview time, I was like prepping and shit like that. And then 
and I was just like shaking like my hands were shaking I was like beginning like I was like logging into like the Microsoft Teams which is where you do the interview and my teeth were chattering and she was like oh this is my name and this is how it's gonna go and I'm literally like uh, like my freaking teeth are chattering and I'm so nervous but the interview went pretty well in my opinion I did start like overthinking my answers and like all that stuff and I was so so nervous like during the entire interview and then like only when we got to like the end was I like I mean, it was like pretty good I mean like she said like she gave me some like nice comments and she was really nice and after the interview I like talked to my friends and I'm just like oh I should have said this oh I should have said that but I didn't say this so like my answers were definitely not cookie cutter as much as I wanted them to be and then I was just like oh whatever I was just like not caring as much as I probably should have been and that was a big mistake because today I was a ball of nerves literally all night stay up all night I slept one hour from three to four in the morning because Adam was annoying me and then he's like you're not gonna fall asleep and I was like I am and then I closed my eyes and I freaking fell asleep and then I woke up an hour later and I called him back and I'm like I'm not asleep anymore and now it's 7 52 a.m and and I'm not so smiling for the whole day and no one can ruin my mood because <laughs> I got in. I'm so excited. Hey guys, don't mind this rash that I have going on in my neck. It was itchy earlier and then now it's getting all hivey and weird. So just don't mind that. Um, I'm going to accept my offer now. It's 1023 of the same day. So it's May 26th. And so in the email, it says that my first step is I have to confirm my offer to honor science or honors life side and I had biomed as my life side and then I also applied to honor science and I think it's going okay so this is my OUAC so it looks like I applied to five programs as you can see I got all my offers which is super nice and I'm just gonna accept my honor science offer right now it just says I would like to accept the offer and agree to the terms so I already read the terms and agreements I have to meet a 80 average I think I don't know the conditions were super easy and um there's like nothing more that i really have to read so i'm gonna accept it now which is super iconic it's all good and dandy so i'm just gonna click verify and agree so if you guys made it this far make sure to like and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully it won't be as boring as this one but i just really wanted to put this video together so then i can look back at it again because i did document a lot of this process and it's something that i want to remember so See you guys later.